It seems to be if they're conservative, if they're Republicans, if they're in a certain group, uh, there's discrimination and big discrimination. I see it absolutely on Twitter. Republican Congressman Devin Nunes is suing Twitter and several of its users for more than a quarter of a billion dollars. Twitter becomes the gaslighting for all of the news. And when they're regulating us, they're regulating what people can see on my tweets, which they've done. And then they're they're proliferating out things that they agree with. It's not about one particular thing. It's about a pattern and practice of violating and our rules. And you have a pattern and practice of banning only one faction of people. I don't agree Quillette with that. recently mm -hmm. published an article where they looked at 22 high-profile bannings from 2015 and found 21 of them were only on one side of the cultural debate. But I don't look at the political spectrum of people when I'm looking at their tweets. Right, you, you have a I bias. I don't know who they are. You're biased and you're, you're targeting specific individuals because your rules support this perspective. No. Why is it conservative? Conservative accounts and conservative uh, followers that are being deleted. You mean these bots only target conservatives? That wouldn't make any sense in what their quest is. Their quest is to wreak havoc and go after everybody. Why, why only conservatives? I think Twitter has a lot to answer for there. What did the algorithm take into account that led to prominent conservatives, including members of the U.S. House of Representatives, not being included in auto search suggestions? What caused that? Thank you for the question. So we, um, we use signals, um, usually hundreds of signals, to determine and to decide what to show, uh, what to downrank, or potentially what to filter. In this particular case, as I mentioned in my opening, uh, we were using a signal of the uh, behavior of the people following accounts. August 27, or 2018, conservative activist Candace Owens' account was, was suspended after essentially imitating an account from a New York Times editorial board member, Susan, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Jong. Hashtag, cancel white people. White people marking up the internet with their opinions like dogs pissing on fire hydrants. Now that same tweet went out by Candace Owens, but replaced Jewish or white. Ms. Owens' account was suspended and flagged. The New York Times reporter account wasn't. What's the difference? We, so we did make a mistake uh, with uh, Owens. But I've heard you say that multiple times, we made a mistake. We made a mistake. I've heard you say that the whole time you've been up here and you've been very polite and pretty awesome at doing it. But the fact is it's bigger than a mistake. It's the environment to which I think Twitter has. My point of the first question was, does that fit your political views to which your company is following? Because there seems to be a pattern here. We believe that we can only serve the public conversation. We can only stand for freedom of expression if people feel safe to express themselves in the first place.